Alzheimer's disease. It's one of the most feared conditions of our time. Over 55 million people around the world are living with some form of dementia and the number is expected to skyrocket to around 140 million by 2050. Now, if you know someone who has experienced this, you understand how devastating it can be. Not just for the patient, but for, for their loved ones as well, right? Well, it runs in my family on both sides. So uh, I'm very aware that the probability of me getting it Let's say it doesn't look good. And this is also the reason why I've been so invested in, in researching and developing a program on brain health with the Brain Academy. Because at this moment, we can't cure dementia. We can improve our odds through prevention, but not actually stop it or cure it. Well, that is about to change. You see, for the longest time, research seemed on a dead end street. The problem was with the plaques, the beta amyloid plaques, which accumulate in the brain over time. No one was able to find a way to, to break these down once they had formed. For decades they tried, but it seemed hopeless. I mean, just to give you an idea, this is crazy. The closest we were to a solution was with a drug that had to be given intravenous every two weeks for one hour, costing over 25,000 US dollars a year. And what's even worse, up to one in four was having side effects, was swelling and bleeding in the brain. And all this wouldn't only give marginal gains in fighting the disease. I mean, no surprise the drug never got the approval of the authorities to go to market. So what has changed? Well, it's happening with companies like, like Vaccinity, who are leading the change. Their goal is to create vaccines that stop Alzheimer's before it even begins. Instead of waiting until the disease destroys the brain, these vaccines aim to block it right from the start. Now imagine that. A world where Alzheimer's isn't something you dread as you age, but something you're protected against, just like polio or smallpox, right? We're not just talking about slowing it down, we're talking about the possibility of preventing it entirely. So how does this work? The vaccine is designed to stimulate your immune system to target and clear out toxic proteins like beta amyloid that build up in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. These proteins are a major cause of uh, disease. Once they start clumping together, they damage your brain cells and that's where the memory loss and personality changes begin. Of course, the concept isn't entirely new. Scientists have been working on it for decades, but only recently have we begun to see real progress. Vaccines could offer a simpler, cheaper and more effective solution. Think about it. A couple of vaccine shots could not only slow the progression of Alzheimer's, but could also prevent it altogether. No more expensive treatments that need to be administered every two weeks. No more risky side effects like brain swelling or bleeding. Just a quick shot and you're done, right? By 2030, the first of these vaccines could be widely available. One of the frontrunners, Vaccinity's UB311, is already showing impressive results in trials, with early reports suggesting it could slow cognitive decline by 50%. That's huge. And what's even more exciting, these vaccines could eventually be administered to people before they show any symptom at all. Imagine a world where, where we screen people for Alzheimer's risk early on and vaccinate those at risk before the disease even takes hold. It's like heading off a storm before the clouds even got her, right? We could be looking at a future where Alzheimer's is just not a thing anymore. But don't get me wrong, there are still hurdles to overcome. Clinical trials need to prove that these vaccines are, are effective on a large scale. And of course, there's always a risk they won't live up to the hype. But for the first time, you know, the first time in history, we're genuinely optimistic that we could see the end of Alzheimer's. So what does all this mean for us today? It means there's hope. Actually, for the first time, there is hope. The fight against Alzheimer's is far from over, but we're closer than ever to winning it. By 2030, we might be able to say goodbye to this devastating disease once and for all. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on brain research. If Alzheimer's and dementia is also running in your family, put the word hope in the comments below. And if you can't wait till 2030 for the vaccine, check out our course on how to keep a healthy brain at brainacademy.com. Brain out. Sharpen.